Welcome back. So today we we're discussing five things that suggest you're probably getting excess sugar or excess sugar maybe you're making your life more challenging. And when I say sugar, I mean added sugars. I'm not talking about your piece of your piece of fruit, your apple, your blueberries. I'm talking about added sugars and ultra processed foods and flours that come from refined grains. And to continue with our definitions, you know, refined grains would be things like uh, grains that have had the bran and the germ removed from them. It's like the fiber, the vitamins, the minerals, and only the, the starchy endosperm being left over. So that would be virtually all of your cereals, all of your crackers, all your pastas, your pizza dough, your pastries, and pretty much all the bread products you're gonna find already pre-made for you, unless you're getting Ezekiel bread or some other sprouted grain. I know this sounds really intense. We're just get, you know, getting after it right out of the gate here. Stay with me though, because definitions, you know, they are crucial. Because you know, a whole grain can have loads of benefits for humans and really has sustained many parts of the world for thousands of years. However, the refined grains, the grains stripped of their nourishment that we consume in most industrialized worlds now have not. And unfortunately, although refined grains are insanely palatable, they give us that big old reward. They have also skyrocketed our blood sugar at the same time. So number one, if you're feeling tired all the time, you may be consuming too much sugar. You know, you need a pick me up, you need some caffeine to get you going, afternoon lulls, you need another energy drink, you feel like taking a nap after meals, Sure, you know, that, that bolus of sugar can provide a quick energy boost. You're like, oh man, like, give me some candy, give me some chocolate, you know, to get me going, you know, mind going. But the sugar bolus is also leading the body and the mind down this, this treacherous cliff and dropping us off in the middle of the ocean in a very short time. And this process, you know, it promotes leptin resistance and really the inability to control our appetite. And, and, that, and, and that feeling, that experience of satiation, of satisfaction from the food. And the more times we grab the floury item, we grab the sugary item to pick ourselves up, the deeper we fall into this hole of lethargy, uh, both physically and mentally. And we're really uh, creating just this abyss for ourselves. All right, the second one would be, you know, just feeling like I have no control over my food urges cravings, 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 just all over the place. You know, sure, we could blame the hormones, we could blame the parasites, we could blame the candida, we could blame the lack of sleep, we could blame, you know, the stresses in our lives. But the underlying current for the cravings is the brain's desire for reward and that momentary satiation satisfaction. You know, no matter the season of life we're in, no matter how intense things are, if we want to feel in control of our food inputs, on a daily basis, then the added sugars, the flowers, keeping them at bay, keeping them out of our way is of enormous value. Number three, look at your blood work. Does your blood work show an A1C over 5.6%? Does it show a GGT over 30 or a fasting insulin over 10 or triglycerides over 100? These are all signs in your blood that your body doesn't have the resources to clear the amount of sugar you are consuming or the amount of you know, floury items you're consuming. If your levels are beyond these fat on a fasted blood draw, like I mentioned, and you can see in the show notes, it is very important to take seriously, you know, look at your food inputs. If the numbers are, are above this, man, it doesn't matter if you're doing vegan, if you're doing vegetarian, if you're doing pescatarian, if you're doing carnivore, omnivore, fruititarian, or, or otherwise, if these levels are elevated, there, this is a silent sign that there, it is necessitating you know, some kind of food adjustment if you wanna do and live your best life. All right, next one is chronic pain. Yes, you, know, you can have pain in your muscles, stiffness, pain in your joints, that comes from the pro-inflammatory cytokines secreted when you consume that excess sugar. It enters the system, it overwhelms the system, and out comes the inflammatory instigators. And when you consume excess sugars and refined flours, 
We are literally summoning, we are urging on our immune system to go and attack invaders. The problem is these invaders, you know, there isn't a bacteria, there isn't a parasite, there isn't a virus to go after. So it is our own tissues that take the hits. And that is called autoimmunity. When our own tissues are being hit by our immune system. You know, and this causes physical discomfort. This can cause emotional and mental anguish from these cytokines overwhelming and, and essentially crippling us. All right. The next one is feeling mentally liable. You know, this is because excess sugars, they affect the gene expression and the uh, availability of dopamine receptors in the brain. So dopamine, you may have heard of this neurotransmitter, it really is the head or it's, it's, its job is to, you know, be the, the controller of mood, of behavior, of, of learning, of memory. So when you mess it up, when you, when you mess with the receptors for it, man, all of life starts crumbling around you. Not only that, but sugar that is in excess and doesn't get, get used up by the neurons because neurons are a high glucose um, cellular you know, energy source. You, you really, you corrode the system. You know, just like metals break down and, and rust, nerve cells age at a fast rate and, and the spark of life is eliminated from them when, when they're bombarded by added sugars and, and these flowers. Added sugars and refined flowers, yes, they are everywhere. And it is going to take consistent vigilance on your part and simply being okay with eating different than the person next to you. You will not be normal you will stand out because you'll be living at a different standard, but that's okay because the, the, the standard that is known to be the standard is creating death and dysfunction. And you are creating a health opportunity for yourself and for your family. So I created an opportunity for you where I fully support you for seven weeks to get massively in control of your sugar monster. So if you want to, you want success in this area, man, check out the link below. It's going to be epic. It starts May 1st. I'm Dr. Matt. Hope you guys have a fabulous week and I'll see you next time.